let's begin with the audio book of 11th standard chapter 3 plant kingdom biology at present phylogenetic classification system based on an evolutionary relationship between the various organisms are acceptable this assumes that the organism belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestors we now use in the form information form many other so sources to help resolve difficulties in classification the the become more important than the the supporting fossil evidence numerical taxonomy which is now easily carried out using computers is based on observable characteristics number and codes are assigned to all the characters and data are then processed in the way each character is given equal importance at the end the same time hundreds of character can be considered cytotoxic cyto uh, taxonomy that is based on cytological information like chromosomes number structure behavior and chemotaxonomy that is the use of chemical constituents of plants to resolve consume confusions are also used by taxonomists these days algae 3.1 algae algae are chlorophyll being simple phalloid autotrophs and largely aquatic both fresh and marine water organisms they occur in variety of other habitats most joints soils wood some of them also occur in associated with fungi these are lichens and animals example sloth beer the form of size of algae is highly variable the size ranges from microscopic unicellular form like Clymodomonas to, to colonial forms like Volvox and filamentous forms like Eulothrax and Spirogyra. A few of marine forms such as Clips form massive plant bodies. There are different types of reproductions. For example, asexual reproduction is by production of different types of spores, the most common being zoospores. Isogamous, anisogamous and oogums are different terms to be described further. 3.1.1 Chlorophycea. The member of Chlorophycea are commonly called green algae. The plant body may be unicellular, colonial, or filamentous. They are usually grass green due to dominance of pigments chlorophyll A and B. 3.1.2 Phyophycea. The member of Phyophycea are brown algae are found primarily in marine habitats. They show great variations in size and form. They range from simple branched filamentous forms, for example, ectocarpus to profusely branched from forms or rip presented by clips which may represent reach height of 100 meters the process they possess chlorophyll a c keratonites and xanthophylls rhodophycy are commonly called red algae because of their predominance of the red pigment r phycoerythrin in their body majority of red algae are marine with greater concentration found in the warmer waters 3.2 Bryophytes. Bryophytes include various mosses, liverts that are found commonly growing in the moist shaded areas in the hill. For example, figure 3.2 in the NCRT textbook. Bryophytes are also called amphibians of plants. So bryophytes are also, also called amphibians of plant tea kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. They usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. They play an important role in plant succession or bare rock soil the bryophytes are further divided into liverts and mosses when we see up the liverts liverts grow usually in moisty shady habitats such as banks of stream marshy ground damp soil bank of trees deep in woods the plant body of liverts is thalloid example merchantia the thallus is dorsiventral and clearly upressed to substrate the leafy members heavy tiny leaf like appendages into two rows on the stem like structure 3.2.2 Mosses The predominant stage of life cycle of moss is gametophyte, which consists of two eggs, the first stage of protonema stage, which develops directly from a spore. It is a creeping green branched and frequently filamentous stage. The second algae is leafy stage, which develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bud. They consist of upright, cylindrical, axis barely sparing arranged leaves. They are attached to soil through multicellular and branch rhizoids. These stages bear the sex organs. Next is 3.3 Petridophytes. The petridophytes include hostels and femmes. Petridophytes are used for medicinal purpose and soil binders. They are also frequently used in used as grown as an ornamentals. Evolutionary, they are the first terrestrial plants to possess vesicular tissue, xylement, for xylement phloem. You should study more about this tissue in chapter 6. Next is 3.4 Gymnosperms. The gymnosperms are plant in which ovals are not enclosed by any ovary wall and remain exposed both before and after fertilization. The seeds, the seeds that develop post-fertilization are not covered that are naked. Gymnosperms include 
medium sized trees and all trees and shrubs one of gymnosperm the giant redwood tree sequoia one of the old tallest tree species the root are generally tap root roots in some genera have fungal association in form of mycorrhiza, mycorrhiza that is next is 3.5 angiosperms unlike the unlike the gymnosperms where ovules are naked in the angiosperms or flowering plant the pollen grain ovule are developed in specialized structure called flower in angiosperm the seeds are enclosed by fruit the angiosperms are exponentially large group of plants occurring in wide range of habitat next is 3.6 plant plant life cycle and alteration alterations of generation in plant both haploid and diploid cells can divided by mitosis this ability leads to formation of different plant bodies haploid and diploid the haploid plant bodies produce gametes by mitosis these plant bodies represent a gametophyte following of fertilization the zygote also divides by mitosis to produce a diploid sporophytic plant body haploid spores are produced by this plant body by meiosis this in turn divided by mitosis to form a haploid pl plant body once again thus during life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant there is an alteration of generation between gamete producing haploid gametophyte spore producing diploid sporophyte however different plant group as well as individual representing them differ differ in the following patterns Spor first sporophytic generation is represented only by one cell zygote there are no free wing sporophytes meiosis is in zygote Results in formation of haploid spores. The haploid spores divide mitotically and form gametophyte. The dominant photosynthetic phase is such plant in is the free living gametophyte. This kind of life cycle is termed as haplontic. Many algae such as Volvox, Spirogyra, and some species of Chlamydomonas are represented in this pattern. One of other ex second is one of other extreme is a type of where the diploid sporophyte is dominant photosynthetic independent phase of the plant gametophyte phase is represented by single a few celled haploid gametophyte. This kind of life cycle is termed as diplontic. All seed bearing plants that is gymnosperms and angiosperms follow this pattern. For example, refer figure three point seven b. Third is bryophytes and petrophytes. Interestingly, exhibit an intermediate condition that is haplodiplontic. Both phases are multicellular. And often free living, however, they differ in their dominant. Adding some important points at the end of this audiobook. Interestingly, the most algal genera and haplontic, some of them, such as Icteropus, Polypsponia, Kleps, and Haplodiplontic, while Fucus and Algae is diplontic. Thank you, guys. Let's meet in the next video. We finish this video here. Thank you.